Hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain you how we use SPIN HISIS to perform uh, economic analysis uh, in HISIS. Now, before we start uh, into this uh, economic analysis in HISIS, one thing I just want you to make sure in your system, and that is you must have uh, economic uh, process uh, economic analyzer SPIN process economic analyzer how you check that just go to the start menu and uh, over here in the SPIN you will see that SPIN economic evaluation and SPIN process economic analyzer just to click on this and you need to make sure that you have SPIN process economic analyzer installed in your uh, SPIN HISIS if you don't have uh, this economic analyzer installed you cannot perform economic analysis so first thing you need to make sure you have this one installed uh, usually it comes uh, with the uh, spin package installation package in the previous uh, version it used to be separate but now it has been combined so i will close this and come back to this uh, later so as a chemical plant uh, uh, example i have uh, taken uh, this so3 production process this one i have discussed in my previous lectures you can have a look on this how i uh, designed this in spin hisis and uh, these are uh, some of the steps that we need to follow this is an example that uh, i'm taking you need to have your own uh, chemical production system available when you perform these economic analysis steps okay Again, this SO3 production is I'm taking an example to elaborate what are the steps in economic analysis in HISIS and it is based on your own system. So these are uh, 10 steps. Uh, I will explain them one by one. Anything in the colored is basically the actions that you need to do in uh, SPIN HISIS. So the first step is prepare and fully simulate your production system in steady state conditions. Ensure all streams and equipments are fully calculated material streams are blue and all the pieces of equipments are gray not yellow so let's go to our uh, spin uh, hisis system so these are two reactors uh, there is a sulfur coming in air is uh, uh, coming in in the reactors there is some unburnt uh, uh, sulfur we receive here there will be small amount of so2 produced and then it goes to another reactor where the unburnt sulfur uh, some amount of unburnt sulfur and air also combine and we have some gaseous outlets and the liquid outlet of course we are uh, producing so3 here again this lecture i have already covered you can have a look on that how i work on this so as a first step uh, you need to ensure that uh, your system is in steady state conditions and all the streams are fully calculated by that i meant to say we need to make sure that uh, our uh, pieces of equipments are gray and they are not yellow by that i meant to say and the streamlines are uh, blue by that i meant to say let's say if i take air here and if any parameter is missing here for example i delete this 101.3 kilopascal pressure and your system is if uh, it is on steady state you can see that uh, in my background here this has been completely changed the color is changed so it is not in steady state if there is any yellow lines across the equipments this means they are not uh, uh, simulated if your material streams are uh, light blue in color this means they are not simulated so let's uh, put back uh, this value which is 101.3 uh, kilopascal and we are okay with the HISIS. HISIS has simulated everything in the steady state system. And this is what we are looking for. So first step, you need to make sure you have a steady state system which has defined all the material properties and equipments. The second step in economic analysis is we need to activate SPIN process economic analyzer. How we do that? You need to click on economic activity. Now, if you need uh, this sheet, you can email me and I can uh, send you as an attachment. If not, uh, you can also take it as a screenshot. And this is the, these are the final 10 steps that we will be work on. You can take a screenshot or you can email me. I can share it with you. So let's go to the second step. We need to activate our SPIN process economic analyzer by clicking on economic active. So I go to economics here. 
and this is where I need to click here. Once you click this, all these gray areas, they will be highlighted uh, and it will allow us to perform some integrated economics uh, through these systems. Again, you must have uh, economic uh, analyzer installed with SPIN HiSys. If you don't have that uh, economic analyzer, you will never see this button here. The third step is we need to add an economic template. For that one, we need to click on the cost options and provide the required data. So the next is we need to click on our cost option and this is the data that we need to provide. I will take a couple of minutes and explain you what are these things. So this is the basically a template uh, that HiSys used to perform the economic evaluation. You can also see which uh, template is this just click on this and you can click on these templates here so these are all the templates uh, which are available in high it has a chinese uh, system and it has eu system in terms of ip uh, imperial units uh, ip means inches and pound system it has eu system in terms of metric uh, jp is the japanese system ip and metric me uk system and uh, US system IP and M a metric system for now I will keep it as a default uh, system which is US uh, IP if you have any other system or you know about the system where you want to work uh, you can just uh, select that uh, template here so I will cancel this over here now this is the scenario and this is a little bit description I can say that I'm doing economic analysis uh, of SO three production now you can provide some operating life of the plant of course uh, five years is uh, quite less uh, let's take it as a 20 years again it depends on your problem how much uh, life of the plant you want to have in your uh, system now length of the plant startup let's say I make it as a one year and uh, when we want to start the basic engineering let's take some random date uh, so let's start uh, with the 2023 and make it uh, 10th of January. These are uh, the operational year. This is the operational year. This indicates uh, 8766 hours in a year. So if you calculate uh, 365 multiplied by 24 hours, you will get uh, almost this number. Now there is no OK button on this. Once you have provided the input, these are already stored. Just uh, close this window. So we are done uh, with our step uh, of providing the uh, economic uh, template for this using the cost option. The fourth step is we need to provide the input prices of the raw materials and product. Click on the stream prices. So this is where you need to click on the stream prices. On the this side, this uh, window, which is case it combines all the inputs uh, and products of your whole uh, chemical plant so in this case I have this feed stream here so you can see that I have sulfur and air into my system if I go back here which I explained you earlier I have sulfur and air and if I go to my product stream I can know that uh, it has unburned sulfur gaseous outlet and the liquid outlet Again, if I go to my simulation, I can find out I have these products coming out. And uh, these are the conversion reactors, uh, the equipments basically which I'm using in my system. And this case basically combine all of these. Now we need to specify the prices of these ones. One thing you need to notice that uh, if you have sometime prices available in terms of the mass unit, for example, one dollar per kg or kilo, um, kilogram so you can change the units here as you can see just click on this it, you can change in terms of mass flow you can change, change in terms of the liquid uh, volume flow we can also provide the cost rate or as the fuel oil basis and the molar flow so let's uh, keep it as a molar flow and I provide the prices of the input I'm just uh, entering a rough number here one dollar let's say one dollar cost per kg mole Again, you can change it in terms of uh, um, gram mole or pound mole. Why I am seeing mole here? Because I have chosen the molar flow. If I choose something, let's say mass flow calculations. 
and then I input my data it should show up uh, in terms of the mass as you can see that it's showing in terms of mass per kilogram per gram per ton per pound and so on so let's say uh, keep it as a default which is one dollar per kilogram mole and same with the air let's say I take it as a one as well now why I'm saying dollar uh, per, per kilogram I will explain you uh, when I'm going to explain you the economic analyzer in detail in just few minutes now let's go to the product stream of course uh, we are uh, looking to make the product which is uh, beneficial to us so let's increase the prices for them and uh, I'm just giving a random number now here it does not matter whatever the price I put because the mass flow of the liquid stream is zero. Anything which I put here even if it is the $10 per kilogram mole my cost rate will come out to be zero because the mass flow is zero. Even if I don't put it it does not matter. So I have defined all of uh, my stream prices uh, for these ones and uh, now the next step uh, I am ready is the next step is uh, we need to work on and define the process uh, utilities here so for this one you need to click on the process utilities and it will uh, open up a window where we have all the utilities uh, in our system on this side and this is the whole data that is it is you using in our system again depending upon your system if you are, are not using the US system in the US system it is taking the EPA rule E95711 to calculate the emissions from the plant if you have some different units uh, or system you can choose them so for now I'm going to keep it uh, as a default uh, units and this is where you can uh, provide uh, the prices of your uh, utilities you can change these number because they are blue here and let's go to the next step which is uh, map the unit now the next step is we need to map our unit operations basically the mapping matches the built-in HISIS unit operation to the piece of equipment in uh, SPIN process economic analyzer so the next step is we need to click on this mapping once you have defined the prices for your stream and the process click on the mapping and as you can see that it is uh, processing uh, the mapping of the system this uh, window will open it is there are three functions here the first is uh, it is asking you to have the map uh, selected unit operations or all unit operations for now I'm doing for the all and by default it is take, taking basis of the default and uh, the last uh, mapping is something if you have already performed economic analysis you can cho choose this option instead of checking default because I'm doing it very first time I will just click on default and the next is uh, evaluate the option it has the size equipment and evaluate cost now the custom sizing is uh, chosen if you are adding a new component or equipment in your uh, pre-existing chemical plant and what is the reason it could be many operational reasons you want to make your process more efficient so you realize that we want to add a new equipment into the system in that case uh, you don't have to do a uh, economic analysis all over again but you can just uh, click on this customize sizing and choose what equipment you have uh, what new equipment you have in your system so for now because I'm working on all of all the new plants so I will choose system uh, size equipment and evaluate cost and click on OK once I click on OK it will provide me the details of all unit operations uh, which are being used in my system as you can see that I have only two reactors which I explained you earlier so it is giving me these options process designing is nothing it is just the specification of the equipment for now you can see that it is uh, for this uh, reactor it has given me agitated tank and closed ejected reactors you can also change this one if you click on this as you can see that uh, there are different types uh, of these uh, reactors I can choose this and it will go in further details if it is agitator uh, type reactor is it uh, agitator tanks reactor is there any blender, kneader or mixer and so on 
so let's uh, cancel this and uh, I will keep uh, the default here depending upon your uh, system you can choose especially if you are using the heat exchangers it can provide you tons of options and specification that uh, you can make because the cost is uh, of the equipment is based on uh, how sophisticated uh, equipment you want to have in your chemical plant so let's press uh, ok here and it will start to evaluate uh, our system so let's go here now as you can see that uh, I map it and the next steps uh, which are uh, the sizing and evaluate it has also performed that in case not you can just uh, click on sizing and you can also click on evaluate next it has already calculated this uh, steps that is why you can see that I have the blue marks here next to the mapping sizing and evaluate now what are the results uh, coming out of all of this so let's go here on this tab and we can see that uh, go to the summary we can see that we have a total cost uh, capital cost calculated for this system of SO3 production we have total operating cost calculated uh, we have uh, total raw material cost calculated it is of course based on the cost value which I provided we have the product sales calculated uh, of course what is the utility cost now the important point here is we don't have equipment cost uh, calculated and we don't have install cost calculated and uh, this is uh, not correct the reason is that there is some problem in our system so that is why I took this example actually to elaborate sometime you will get the zero cost uh, equipment cost and install cost and how you can fix it look at this one this yellow sign here it is basically giving you a warning that uh, there is something missing in your system for which HISIS need your help and how we can identify that we can just click on this one and here we go so we have the problem uh, in our equipments both of the equipments which I'm using in my system and uh, this is the error here it is asking me the question mark found in the numeric data either capacity or diameter plus height must be specified for both of them the same is error is for the second one so how you can fix it just uh, click on this and over here I can specify my liquid volume now before I do this I just want to mention you something why I'm receiving this error if I take you to my simulation here and I click on my equipment in the dynamics you can see that I did not specify my vessel capacity or the volume that is why I was receiving that error so either you can provide the values here and rerun your economic analysis or you can fix it uh, in the economic analyzer both of them will give you the same thing I prefer to work on uh, economic analyzer because then I will know that which uh, values I need to fix so let's enter uh, some values here I'm again I'm taking some um, random values one hundred uh, liquid volume for this one one hundred liquid volume for this one and now we need to re-evaluate our system so now you can see that uh, it has uh, re-evaluated my economic uh, analysis and now I have uh, this uh, green mark on my economic analyzer if I go back here and I can see that uh, let's go to the summary here we have the equipment cost uh, value calculated and we have the total installed cost evaluated if you want to know the individual cost associated with this so this is the electricity cost associated with this this is the cost of the equipment as you can know that uh, I enter 100 100 for each of them so both of them have the same installation cost uh, both of them same equipment weight and the cost uh, calculated here this is the equipment cost uh, that we are interested in and uh, the same uh, thing here now let's go to the next step uh, in our study which is saying that uh, we need to view the results uh, on this we have done this the next step is the investment analysis once you have uh, performed your economic analysis and you know that uh, you have the green uh, mark available 
then uh, you can click on investment analysis click on this it will open up uh, tons of uh, microsoft excel windows for you just uh, give it uh, some time now it started now so basically these are uh, different uh, aspects through which we can uh, economically analyze a chemical plant it will open too many microsoft excel sheets and it will combine them together okay this is the run summary of our system this is total capital cost uh, that we need this is the operating cost uh, that we need and here's the executive summary what is the capacity of the plant you can also change it in economic analyzer and uh, these are all the specification we provided to the system and it calculated the us dollar conversion rate uh, cost data associated is uh, based on specific year which i will show you in a bit let's see what the cash flow these are uh, the number of the weeks periods uh, 52 and uh, these are all the items uh, related to the economic analysis if you are not sure uh, what are these uh, numbers i strongly recommend you to read this book chemical engineering design principle practice and economics of plant uh, and process design by Toller and Sinet. It is a very good book to understand all these uh, terms that we have in Excel sheet. And uh, this is the sale data. As you can see that we were looking for uh, 20 years. So it calculated uh, for 20 years. And after that uh, specific time of 20 years, it stopped calculating because we didn't, uh, we didn't ask ISIS to work on plant after 20 years again this is my sales data this is my expenses data how much will be the capital cost uh, cumulative cost what is the working capital and this is my operational cost associated uh, what is the raw material cost again all these numbers are based on next uh, 20 years you can take them and you can perform further analysis on uh, your system and uh, one thing i want to show is the revenue here's the revenue expected that we can have uh, in next 20 years now the revenue is uh, negative here because we did not start uh, the production of the plant so we cannot expect to have any revenue if there is no product formed and uh, then we can have some other analysis done here yeah by the way this negative uh, is coming because uh, the cost of uh, my raw material uh, is higher than my profit gain again because i added some random numbers so this should be based on your uh, inputs again we can calculate some profitability index is too low here again as i said uh, these are number i added now payout period uh, again this is zero so i should have used some uh, actual numbers uh, anyways my purpose is just to elaborate you how we work on this and uh, this is the net present value calculations uh, again uh, you can go to the project summary equipment details utilities and there are too many tons of details here that you can look at now before i uh, end this i just want to show you that uh, economic analyzer so let's go here and open the process economic analyzer now one of the this is the same as we worked in hisis you can either use uh, this system or you can uh, use as your process flow sheet i prefer to use the process flow sheet in spin hisis instead of using spin process economic analyzer separately now what i want to show you uh, one of the issue that uh, raised in process economic analysis is what data HISIS is using. So once you open your economic analyzer, it is using this data. As you can see here, it is using the first quarter of 2018 prices basis. Of course, it is a old uh, data and you need to update this data of cost by adding the time value of money. I will try to develop uh, a lecture on that, how we can do it and uh, just make sure you pay attention to your pricing uh, basis it is based on the first uh, quarter of 2018 again if you want to work on some uh, new project just click on this for now i have already this so3 production click on ok and i can just uh, work on this let's provide some description again so3 production 
and either I want IP system or the metric system I can choose anything and just click on OK now over here uh, this uh, system is the same as you were doing before let's close this and here we go that's what I want to show you if you are working in some different currency or you want to change the currency units that's where you can work on for example if I want to work on UK so I can uh, work on the UK and it will automatically change my pound system here again you can choose uh, Japanese hair system here which is based on the currency and it will update my yen here how much uh, what is the currency of your unit that you want to work on this is all you can just uh, run your system and evaluate the project as we were doing before and it will give you the same results uh, that I just showed you this is the same process as it was happening in Aspen high software itself this is not a separate software of Aspen process economic analyzer it is the same software but it is coming as a built-in feature in Aspen high -Sys. and these are the same results uh, as we were having before okay I will go back to my simulation here and uh, I will uh, stop it so I hope uh, this uh, helps you if you have any questions uh, you can uh, email me and I will be happy to answer your questions thank you